Steinhardt's are incredible people. They're from the moment they walked into Boca Raton, they just rolled up their sleeves and asked what they could do to help in any capacity. He's someone who genuinely cares about people. He's always looking to be helpful. Ellie and Sharona are really a special couple. They are Osik B'Tzor Chetzibu. They care so much about the community that they live in. I personally um, got to know them well, dealing with Eden Gardens in Orlando and watching how Ellie is into every detail just to make sure that everyone's happy and everyone has what they need. He never factors in it's going to cost a little more. He's an ish yashar. He's an honest person and he only cares that the people he deals with are happy. And that is the greatest way to be Makadah Shem Shemayim in this world. They've instilled this in their children as well. So you go to a Purim Suda at the shul, you see the Steinhardt family and everybody is pitching in and everybody's running around. They donate of themselves and they do it in such a devoted and generous manner. Ellie and Sharona, when they moved to town, I immediately wanted to become their friend. They opened their home, they hosted Simchas Pesach Shoevas in their sukkah. I knew there was a warmth there that I, I wanted to connect with. That was a place to go if it was Shabbos afternoon or just stop by at any time. You could go in and schmooze with the Steinharts. I remember they hosted a, um, a Simchas Pesach Shoeva maybe about a month after they moved into the community. I don't know anyone else that's done such a thing. That's the kind of people they are. Ellie Steinhardt is friends with everyone. His house is open to everyone. He's there involved in, in every you know, community event. He's present, smiling, friendly, welcoming uh, to, to everybody in, in our community. Ellie has been instrumental in the growth uh, and expansion of our yeshiva. He has helped us in countless ways uh, over the last number of months or even years. I've been spending uh, as much time as I can helping the school with their big picture development plans because that's, that's what I do for a living. Um, and I'm glad to help. He has expertise in, in construction and zoning and he's always willing to give his time even though he's very, very busy to help the school and, um, and the community. Creative, smart, he's willing to pick up the phone and call people, you know, in the industry that, you know, for, for, for advice and connections and, and utilize everything that he has in order to help, help the school. My siblings came here when we first moved. I had two siblings in the school and they, my parents just feel like the school really helped my siblings with that transition of moving and they want to get back. It's a great organization, great uh, group of people who have worked so hard to put this all together and I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. The kids that go to school here are so Tamimistic. Like there's something just so Tamimis about the kids that live in Boca and that go to Torah Academy. And it, it, it's something that like we don't take for granted. Our kids went to all different kinds of schools across the world. And like there's something special about the kids in Torah Academy. They're always there when you need them. Um, they're there with literally with anything that you need. If you have an event going on in your backyard and you don't have an exterior light bulb, they have that. Uh, if your shul needs a hundred folding chairs, they have that. Uh, if you're running a Pesach program in Orlando and you've got crates and crates of uh, leftover grape juice, they can take it and distribute it after. I mean, they're the type of people that literally take care of the community from A to Z. Um, when anyone ever needs anything in Boca Raton, they're there. Standards are wonderful wonderful people to have in the community. They only moved in a few years ago, but over that time they've completely integrated themselves and are a core family in the community. And it's hard to imagine where Boca would be without, without them at this point. The Simcha Sechayim, the, welcome, the welcoming committees and the kids, like just everybody was so amazing and shul, like just everywhere we went, everywhere we turned, the kids were feeling so welcomed and everyone's so friendly. We wish the Steiners continued Haslacha, not only in assisting our yeshiva and building our yeshiva, but in building uh, the city of Orlando, as he's known as the mayor of Orlando, and continue building and helping build Torah uh, throughout uh, Boca Raton and throughout the world. Our wish for Ellie and Sharona is that they should only continue to see abundant nachas from their mishpacha, and we should be zocha together to continue to build our community strong and focused on Torah growth. You should only see nachas and joy from your unbelievable, amazing family. Congratulations, Mommy and Abba. You guys are a big part of our lives. We 
miss you and we wish we could be there. We couldn't have asked for better parents.